And make no mistake, as sure as I'm talking to you, there will be efforts to limit our First Amendment, our free speech, to comply with Sharia blasphemy laws, which call for death to those who slander the Prophet Muhammad. And it was a contest about who could speak the best Spanish. Now, I believe in keeping your heritage alive, including my own Lebanese heritage. But I also believe this is an English-speaking nation, and pandering to Spanish-speaking immigrants was over the top. You need to be afraid, because they are coming for you. The ISIS assault, the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, signals the beginning of the reverse crusade. And don't give me this racism nonsense. We fought a civil war to make sure that we put an end to the stain of racism and slavery in our nation. We're not racist. Truth be told, you're engaging in reverse racism. It seems you think that your skin color entitles you to be here ahead of everyone else in the world who may have a different skin color, but who's suffering the same injustice. You're not. And when they want to shut us up, they call us Islamophobes. Yet, Congress continues to fail us, not only blocking the president's efforts, but actually passing a bill this week that would give two and a half million dreamers amnesty, a signal to illegals that not only will they let you in and pay for food, housing, education, medical, and travel, but sooner or later, they'll give you amnesty after they release you into the interior, providing yet another incentive for illegals to cross. Our, our president and our beautiful first lady, um, they went down to El Paso, Texas, and they posed with a baby that the president's rhetoric, Fox News rhetoric, your rhetoric, had helped to orphan. And I think this this thing about... Trump is making America great again. Trump has made America hate again. And it's this hatred of races. I hear it all the time when I see talk to Republicans and they say, oh, I went down to Texas and there are all these Mexicans down there and they're all speaking Spanish. Well, I got news for you. Those weren't Mexicans. Those were the Americans. That guy that went down to El Paso to shoot a bunch of Mexicans, he shot a bunch of Americans. And I'm really tired of this anti-immigrant, anti-people with brown skin rhetoric that's coming out of, out of Fox News, coming out of people like you, and coming out of our president. It's demeaning. It's beneath the office. It's beneath you. You used to be a judge. You know better. It's time that that stops.